Hello viewers, you welcome to today's episode of Mathematics Tutorials on Facebook. My name is Eric. Our question for today is this said question that we have on the board that says express 3 root 24 plus root 54 in the form a root b, hence find a over root b. Alright, so uh, we are going to simplify this 3 root 24 plus root 54 into a form that will give us a certain number, the root of another, multiplying the root of another number. So when we finish solving this, it should, the solution should give us a number that will be a root b, where a and b are certain numbers, and then we find a being that number over the root of the number b. All right, in that we shall have in our solution. All right, when we talk of a set, all right, the sets are nothing but numbers whose roots will give us uh, uh, like, uh, will not give us a definite or uh, exact answer. For instance, the root of 2, the root of 20, the root of 24, the root of 54, their roots do not give us exact answers. So those are called sets. All right. So let's look at the solution to this question quickly. Um, let's look at solution. So let's have the question here once again. We shall have, we have 3, the root of 24. Uh, plus the root of uh, 54. Now, uh, it should be good with multiplication of numbers, but actually we are going to break 24 using two numbers that, such that one of them has to be a perfect square. The same thing we are going to do to uh, 54. All right. So when we come here, 24, we can see that 4 times 6 will give us 24. 4 is a perfect uh, square. Then we shall have 9 times 6 will also give us 54, and then 9 is also a perfect square. So we're done. So when we introduce square root here and square root here, and square root here and square root here, you will see we shall have our square root of 54 here, and then here will give us our square root of 24 here. So the essence of breaking 24 into 4 and 6 is to make sure that this will give us what this one of the numbers will be a perfect square, and then in uh, root of 54, one of the numbers will be a perfect square. All right, all right. So now let's quickly. This was just an illustration, so let's put that off. Then we come here. So this will give us. Um, so this will be equal to. Um, so let's not put an equal sign over there. So this is three times. The root of 24. What is the root of 24? This is the root of 4 times the root of 6. Plus, we have here the root of 9 times the root of 6. So here, we shall have 3 multiplying 2, because the square root of 4 is 2. So we have 3 times 2, all right? Then root 6. Plus, we have here the root of uh, 3 is, uh, the root of 9 is 3, so we shall have 3 times the root of 6, so we shall have 3, this 3 that will give us 3 root 6. This will multiply 3 times to give us 6, so this will give us 6 root 6 plus 3 root 6, alright. We can, however, add or subtract like sets, alright, we can add or subtract like sets, so you can see, this is 6 root 6 plus 3 root 6. We can add 6 to 3 and get 9 root 6. So it follows that if we have a root b plus, uh, let's say, um, c root b, we can say our answer is a plus c then root b. So that is the same thing we're doing here. So this is it. So this will give us 6. Or we can continue from the other side and say this is equal to uh, 6 plus 3 will give us 9. So we shall have 9 root 6. All right. So it follows that A is equal to 9 and then B is equal to 6. All right. We are doing this for the purpose that we are going to use this in the second part of the question. This is a pregnant question. Because after doing this, we are supposed to do this part also. So, hence, find a over root b. All right. So, where is our a? Our a is 9 and our b is what? 6. So, root b, we will now come and say that uh, 
attending to the second part of the question, uh, that is, uh, if we shall say the condition is if A is equal to 9 and B is equal to 6, all right? So if our A is equal to 9, and R B is equal to uh, six, so B is equal to six. Then, so we shall put a condition here and say then A over root B will be equal to nine over the root of six. So we know we have nine over the root of six. We know that. 9 over the root of 6 is the same as rationalizing the, denotors, the, the denominator, so this will be 9 over the root of 6. We multiply by root 6, that is, we say we are rationalizing the denominator. We shall multiply here 9 over root 16 by uh, root 6 by root 6, all over root 6, and that will give us 9 uh, root 6, 9 times root 6 is 9 root 6, all over root 6 times root 6 will give us 6, all right? Because root 6 times root 6 is root 36. The root of 36 is 6. So the rule says that if you have root A times root A, the answer is equal to A. It's as simple as that, all right? So um, what we're going to say here is that the answer is equal to 9 root 6 over 6, and which is the same as 3 into 9 is 3. 3 into 6 is 2. So that is the answer to this. On that note, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.